Obviously, you know, not I just want to just talk about like past work and everyone fan boys and all of that spam girls and all that stuff. But I think we would be amiss not to ask what the experience was like working on Tombstone. Obviously, that was a, a very big deal early in your career. And of course, um, that had just about everybody. And uh, you had the uh, you, you, you had I don't the think he can remember. He's having a hard time remembering. No, I, I, I do specifically. Well, he had the privilege of being uh, shot and killed by Val <laughs> Kilmer. So, of course, you know, there's there everybody was got everybody got a shot at me. It was yeah. my it was my third or fourth movie. What happened was the first director, writer, producer was fired from the movie after eight weeks. So Kurt Russell pulled us all into the bar and he said, well, I got some good news and some bad news. The good news is we're going to keep shooting. The bad news is, well, Burke, for instance, all your stuff is cut. And I'm like, do I have, do I have to go home? He goes, oh, no, we're going to keep shooting. But like all that backstory, everybody's backstory got kind of cut. And and I was like, I'm still getting paid to ride horses and shoot guns. I'm staying. And, <laughs> and so, I mean, you're sitting there, Val Kilmer and Kurt Russell, Powers Booth, uh, you know, Charles Gaston was in the damn thing. And, and I'm a kid. I'm the son of immigrants. I grew up in a, in a basement in Washington Heights. It's like now I'm riding horses and shooting guns. Really? And so the whole experience of acting has always been i was just discussing this the other day about what i say when i'm finished with a job i always say if it's your will that i should continue this i'm okay with that you know um the fact that i've gotten to do these things is just beyond me and um so but tombstone particularly was epic and i have many specific memories from it um and we made very good friends on that. And we worked very hard. It was hotter than hell. I got tremendous, I got uh, uh, like a snapped ankle and the side of my uh, uh, neck and face blew up once because I had the squib loaded too, it was too too powerful and it was in the wrong place and a long story, but I had all these burns <laughs> and uh, I made some lifelong friends on that film. So it was a, it was a lot of fun. Who gets to do Westerns? Jesus. I love that you're very appreciative. Oh. I love that you're very like gracious for, cause I feel like that in my life. Like I feel like that very much with what I do and that I do use this show as an excuse to get to meet people and meet authors of books I like. And so it's really fun. And if I didn't have the show, I couldn't do that. The actor that uh, really stood out for me, uh, obviously Val goes without saying how great yeah. he was, but the actor that really stood out in that movie that I thought is an incredible character actor, like he was Stephen Lang. Uh, he really did. Can uh, I tell you? Yeah. I used to call him the Julio Cesar Chavez Pound for pound, the best actor I've ever seen in my life. I still say that. I've seen him in Broadway a bunch of times. You're getting every nickel's worth out of that guy. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I mean, he was so like, and and it's a period piece. You know, you you don't want a, any contemporary value or rhythm or layer or texture. And he was just, I mean, I and I would openly tell him. I think you're great, Mr. <laughs> so, but he, he's another guy. If I saw him walking down the street in New York, we'd stop and we'd hug. I mean, you know, to this day. Thanks for watching. If you want to support our mission to transform politics into service, please like this video, subscribe, follow us on social media, and consider joining our Patreon, where you'll get early access to our interviews as well as other exclusive content. Links are in the description. Peace out.